So, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, a topic that really um, follows me a lot uh, because I just just yesterday I went to a perfumery and I asked the seller to show me some cool new fragrances and uh, of course there was one rose oud combination. <laughs> uh, it was from it was one from Carner, the brand uh, C R A R N E R, like uh, Carner, and it was uh, by no means bad. Like um, rose and oud combinated is is so let's call let's let, let me call it overused, and most of the time it is very high quality. Like um, you definitely come across as a very elegant uh, person. But it just is overdone, in my opinion. Like, um, I personally own two uh, fragrances of this kind. Uh, the first one, which I never wear, and I know why, is um, from Montal. It is called Black Aoud. I don't know why it's called Aoud. I don't know. <laughs> I never looked it up because I didn't care too much. Like Montal, if you don't know the brand, probably pretty sure you know the brand. But it's a very, uh, for a niche market, very low priced um, brand, uh, which nevertheless almost every time delivers great performance. Like this one is atomic. This is like nuclear. You spray it on one spray. If you go for two, you are insane. Like, <laughs> or you want to leave a big impression. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm just Mama. I make a video, gell? Egal. Uh, so um, yeah, this one is like um, one spray is one spray too much, almost like it is for me. Just a combination of rose and oud, which is just blah, it's just too much. It's just too strong for me, and I also don't like the bottles. They are so light, like so light and. It's like may maybe I am a bit too focused on the bottle, but it just is an impression that I don't like. Like when I wore it, I was like always thinking, oh my God, I'm just, I'm just too much. I'm just too much for this room right now. So this one was a failure for me. Nevertheless, I don't say it's a bad fragrance, but it's just not for me too strong. And the second one I own is actually my favorite fragrance with Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus not anymore. <laughs> However, somehow I still love it. I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's like, I know the, the couple therapy, I thought about it, but uh, I don't know if it's worth the effort. So the second one is Noir de Noir. And this one, in my opinion, is a perfect take on this type of fragrance. Like this one is perfection. This also adds uh, a fantastically sexy chocolate uh, note to it in my to my nose it is just so beautifully dark yet not dark in a depressing way but in a like a beautiful way like uh, elegant you are just um with this fragrance you will be the most impressive person in the room it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man this fragrance can be worn by both as well as the montal one uh, and yeah, so my overall thoughts about Rose and Oud is like, it has to be very, very great. Uh, it has to be very well done to really still get me. Um, and I don't think it is possible to get me with this again, because I have Noir de Noir and it is a perfect take for me. Um, they can take all the other ones and just... Uh, um, don't throw it in my way because I will not, I will just simply smell it once and then uh, uh, throw it away because I'm just done with this combination. Like um, I'm also done a bit with these aquatic ones. Like I really had a hard time, you know, I had a long jacket on once, uh, uh, maybe a week ago, and I sprayed on Aqua Di Gio um, Absolute. And it is that one in that uh, orange bottle and orange uh, juice uh, color, and it just um, it just uh, got one 
thing with my jacket so my jacket still smells after it and this aquatic super vibe that i get from it is just so annoying like also the aquatic ones is, are just the past for me these days even though it's getting warmer still i will wear more complicated fragrances i'm sorry people that are around me but i cannot do this aquatic stuff these days i'm just uh, i cannot i can't i just can't so i hope you like this video so and you're having a great weekend so far and a great saturday night um and yeah see you soon